Hey, my sweet goat, how you doing? Thank you so much for dropping by. This here is a bit of a special video uh, in two parts. The one, because it's a birthday video and two, because it's a Twitter Q&A video. And I am actually really excited uh, about doing that because I I've never done one before. I mean, uh, I've done Q&As on Instagram using their, their, their Q&A sticker, but I've never actually gone to Twitter and, and ask them to ask me anything and then answer on YouTube. So that's what we're doing right now. Hi Ari, how you doing? Uh, do you have any specific favorite video game you like to play? Any you adored playing growing up? I mean, Mario, I loved playing Mario. I was exposed to Doom at, at the age of six. Like, uh, yeah, and it was, it was wild. Playing Doom for the first time at that age was like, oh, like it opened me up to a whole new like level of games. Uh, but then Mario, I had this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game on the NES. It was really, really hard because it, it was almost broken, but you know, I still loved playing that. Um, there was this other game called, I think, Crash TV, which is also pretty crazy that I played. And then I had some random obscure like Mega Man and Jace like game that I played, which I can't even remember. I can't even remember the name of it because it just sucked. You know, it just sucked. Right now, at this moment, I'm in love with Apex Legends. I also really do love Siege. I love shooters that put me in competitive situations with people who are out to kill me, you know, in a, in a, in a virtual setting. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I like that concept a lot. And I like the strategic factor of, of Rainbow Six Siege. I like that I have to think, I have to turn my, I have to both games actually, Apex Legends, Siege, I gotta turn my brain on, and that's a good thing. Vox Providence, who's an amazing photographer, real chill guy, he says, you were given a book that accounts every moment of your life in great detail. Do you read it? And the answer to that is an absolute resounding no. I wouldn't want to read it because there's probably details in there that I don't even remember that I've just moved past. I just feel like it wouldn't be the best idea to read a full detail report on your life. Eric asked me if I'm fat and uh, I know I'm actually not fat. I don't think, I don't think I'm fat. I don't think I'm fat, but I'm fat in other ways. I'm fat in my dietary habits, you know? You could ask my girlfriend. She'll be like, he likes to he likes to eat, you know, a little bit too late, you know. He craves ice cream sandwiches at midnight, you know. Like, yes, he's 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 got a little fat boy in him. She'd confirm that for sure. And then we have Eli, who's asking, "What's your method for staying so positive as a quote unquote starving artist?" You know, it's weird because I wouldn't describe myself as a starving artist at all. Okay, I may not have as much money as I'd like to. I may not have all the things that I want. I may not have attained all the goals in my life, but. I don't consider myself a starving artist. I consider myself someone who's just, you know, living within his means. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to live within my means while also looking for opportunities to, you know, kind of get to the next level. My boy Casey here is asking, uh, what's the first console you played that made you consider it a favorite for nostalgia? And what game did you like to play the most on it? So that would be Nintendo and Super Mario. And anytime I'm asked to reflect on my first console, I always end up thinking of this one story where I was like five and I was downstairs with my dad and we were, uh, we were having breakfast and I probably looked at him and asked him something about a Nintendo or something like that because it, you know, at this point it was known to me that I was going to be getting one. Like that I had been a good boy and like they were going to get me, uh, you know, a Nintendo. And at one point he looked at me and he said, I'm going to get you the Super Nintendo. Because I guess he'd done a little bit of research and they were talking about how like the Super Nintendo was the, the, the better one. But I, I insisted on getting the Nintendo because it had the original Mario on it. And that's what I would really wanted to play. I wanted to like get good at the initial Mario. So instead of getting me the Super Nintendo, my dad went with the Nintendo. And looking back and playing Super Nintendo games in my adolescent years, it, I look back on it and I'm like, Shit, man, I really wish that my dad had started me off with Super Nintendo because the games were just so much better. It's nice to see Gage here. Uh, he says, where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself in the gaming industry, okay? I love this industry to death. It's brought me so much joy in life, honestly. Like just, I have so many good moments while I'm gaming, when I'm streaming them. It's just such a good time. I just, I feel like I'm devoted to this industry. So I wanna do everything that I can to make sure that it flourishes. And I think that's really important. So I see myself, wherever I see myself, I don't know what role I'll play in it, but I just see myself in gaming. I see myself involved in the gaming industry. It's something I care about, I wanna see it grow. So we have Satan herself asking, what is your favorite restaurant you've ever been to in or out of Montreal? And also, why are you such a fat rat? And uh, I don't have an answer to the second question, okay? I'm just, I was born this way, all right? Uh, but uh, in or out of Montreal, that is such a hard question to answer because look, uh, I've been to many restaurants and I am a fat rat. And I'm currently in the middle of being exposed to a lot of new experiences regarding the culinary industry. Uh, because I have someone in my life who has been very instrumental 
in exposing me to new foods and different styles of cuisine so I can get out of my hot dog uh, hamburger eating fat rat lifestyle. So I don't really have a favorite place, uh, but if I have to pick one, I'd say Bonkies is a place for Putsin. Uh, and uh, I've recently fallen in love with this place called Sate Bros. It's in St. Henry and I, I love that place and I feel like that whole street is just loaded with a lot of good food. Nova just asked me, how's the year treating you so far? And I have to say that it's treating me very well. I'm very happy and very optimistic about the future. Uh, I have a plan, things are really good, it's gonna be great. A lot of things I feel are really lining up for me and I'm able to kind of see a lot of positives uh, in my life for the first time in a really, really long time. Bartholomew wants to know how many languages I speak and if I'm from Montreal and was curious if I also spoke French and other languages. I do speak French. Uh, mon français c'est passable, c'est pas comme parfait. C'est... Uh, uh, des fois je perds mes mots, souvent je perds mes mots, puis uh, après ça... Uh, uh, je deviens un peu gêné. Okay, so just so uh, I get a little embarrassed, you know, every time I start f***ing up my words in French in front of really French people, you know, so... I can get by on basic shit. so if I'm working in sales or something like that, I know how to greet people, I know how to have like the basic conversation of how to make a transaction happen, you know what I mean? So I speak one language fluently and uh, and my French uh, is, 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 is passable, it's like, it's like cool, cool, he's got it. I'd like to work on my French and, uh, and uh, just passive Punjabi and Hindi, so four languages total. Uh, that in my in my repertoire of sorts. What is the most memorable dream you've had? One that you woke up and just stuck with you. Um, but there's this one nightmare that sticks out to me, where I was tied down somewhere. I don't know what I was just tied down, and a f and it sounds so weird, but like like a literal spaceship like landed on me. It just landed. Uh, like a spaceship just landed on me. Would you rather have sex with a goat and nobody would ever know or not have sex with a goat and everyone thinks you did? I mean, at the end of the day, I think that there's some people right now in the world that exist who are looking at me right now and be like, that guy for sure is a goat, you know? This guy, he's had sexual relations with a goat, for sure. You know, they, they're looking at the video right now at this moment thinking that there's gotta be at least one person doing that. So, uh, I mean, if the fact that there's one person already thinking that, I don't really give a if other people think that because it's so absurd, you know? People who know me know that I have a goat and that's all that really matters. Sages of Ages asked me a really nice question here. Do you enjoy studying history or economics? History is definitely way more fun, way more fun. I loved world history class. Great, it was just great, just excelled in it. It was so nice to learn about where we came from. Economics really bored me, but you know, in retrospect, I probably should have paid a little bit more attention. So this here is a great question and I'm looking forward to answering it. And it's how did you and your lady meet? We met at a party in September, 2017. Uh, I just went over and said hi to her. And uh, cause I thought she was attractive and she looked real smart and I just wanted to say hi. And uh, you know, nothing happened that night. And we just added each other to each other's socials or whatever. And then a year later we met at that same party, you know, September, 2018 and uh, the rest is history. We just, met, we just, you know, reconnected and it was really, really, really nice. And she's brought uh, just an immense amount of joy to my life. Uh, and it was already starting to get there by that point, but it was just, it's just, she's great, 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 great human. And I'm just, I'm just in love, okay? I'm in love, guys, I'm fing in love. Fing. But in all seriousness, Best feeling in the world. I hope that everyone gets to feel it at least once in their life. Thank you guys so much for all those questions. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for making the last three years on uh, YouTube uh, really awesome. And uh, thanks for making this birthday uh, a better birthday. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, I'll see you guys real soon in another video. Catch you later. Bye. Love you. Love you.